You're looking at a time-lapse video recorded by the Library of Congress showing the process of constructing the exhibition Jacob Rees, revealing how the other half lives. Next, on American History TV's American Artifacts, we visit the exhibit in the library's Thomas Jefferson Building to learn about the life of the Danish-born journalist, social reformer, and photographer. I'm Cheryl Regan. I'm an exhibit director in the Interpretive Programs Office at the Library of Congress. And I'm Barbara Baer. I'm the curator of this exhibit, and I'm a historian in the Manuscript Division of the Library of Congress. Jacob Rees was born in 1849 in Reba, Denmark, and he was the son of a school teacher and was basically raised in this very beautiful small town in Denmark. Uh, he was a rebellious youth, and even though he was uh, the son of a teacher, he was not a good student, although he loved to read, and he played hooky a lot. And later when he was in New York, he had a lot of sympathy for truant young boys. And some of his articles are about truancy and how we can address that as an issue to get kids into school. And he spoke from personal experience. And a lot of what he wrote about, he did have personal experience because he was an immigrant to the United States. When he was 21 years old in 1870, he came to the United States by himself and he had a very hard time initially um, here finding work. He did all kinds of odd jobs, worked as a laborer, worked as a door-to-door -door salesman, was sometimes homeless, was sometimes sleeping at night in homeless shelters and the police lodging houses. Reese had a very personal reason to have a grudge about police lodging houses, and he tells a story in his autobiography, Making of an American, of the, a night when he was in particular despair where he had considered throwing himself into the East River, and he was befriended by a stray dog and the dog was his little buddy, his only friend in, the, in America. And that night, he went to stay at a lodging house. They wouldn't let the dog in. The dog was waiting for him outside. And in the night as he slept, a very precious golden locket that he had brought with him to America that had a picture and a lock of hair of his beloved Elizabeth was stolen from him while he was sleeping. And when he went to report this to the policeman on duty, the policeman didn't believe him. He thought, why would this tramp boy have a golden locket? Yeah, sure. And uh, he was very rough in throwing Reese out of the police lodging house. The dog waiting outside sees his friend being roughed up by the police and snarls, and the policeman beat the dog to death. So it's a very tragic story, um, and Reese never forgot it. And when he wrote about the closing of the police lodging houses, which he successfully did with Theodore Roosevelt's help, he, he titled the chapter in his autobiography, My Dog is Avenged. And he was concerned about the lodging houses because of the crowdedness and also because the criminality. A lot of younger people in particular were were um, exposed to hardened criminals or were recruited to be pickpockets and so on, that it wasn't a wholesome environment for the young. And, but also there was a spread of disease because of the crowdedness. So this particular article that we're highlighting, Police Lodging Houses, Are They Hotbeds for Typhus Fever? It's a story of a man where he is shown here lying on the floor. He's very ill. He's at the Eldridge Street um, Police Station and he did have typhus. So Reese uses this as an example of the danger of contagious disease to the people that are staying there that, who had then spread it when they left in the morning, but also to the policemen themselves. The police were concerned about this issue. So they do succeed in closing down um, the lodging houses and the idea that the police or a, a policing authority should have the major role in supplying homeless shelters. And Reese believed that private charity should take over that uh, role in partnership with the municipality. So with shared funds, both city and, and charitable funds, to open uh, model lodging houses that would have showers and um, or ways to bathe and uh, ways to wash clothes and a real bed for people to sleep in and so on. The exhibition, Jacob Rees, Revealing How the Other Half Lives, can be viewed online at the Library of Congress website, loc.gov.